This is Yawa, my latest model that I've painted for competition entry. In this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts on display painting, my process, the challenges I face, why I do it, and how I view my own work when it comes to pushing for display level quality. So, my reasoning for doing display and competition level painting is I'm quite inspired by the high level painters such as Arno Lazo, Pizarski, Roman Laplace, Sergio Calvo, and I really want to see if I can push myself to that standard. So with that in mind, before even starting this project, I'd recently been inspired by Roman Laplace's dioramas where he places miniatures in picture frames. And I thought this was a really cool idea and I knew at some point I wanted to try with a project. As I thought about it, the idea came to mind with Yawa, which I had recently bought from Neko Galaxy because I thought it was just a cool model. And I knew I really wanted to try it with her after some thinking. So with that decided, it's time to get on with the project. Of course, this is the most obvious place to start and planning it is. But in all honesty, for the majority of this project, and even up until the very end, I had actually little to no concrete idea of how I was going to paint this, diorama or the model itself. Which is a little strange for me to be honest, because normally when considering a project, I have an idea of what I'm going to do, and what the end result will look like. Not for Yawa. This may be the normal for the majority of my projects, but this was how Yawa came to be. A very fluid, natural, if not spontaneous sequence of events. As I thought more and more about what I wanted to do, I did decide that I wanted to challenge myself, not only doing a picture frame light box idea, but taking inspiration from the box art and various Yawa paint jobs, and um, shout out to Firebrush, aka Carlos Tobes, who would be my big guide and inspiration for following how I wanted to do the bike on Yawa, I wanted to push myself and do a blue backlit OSL light source on her. So, when it comes to display model painting and planning, you really should have a concrete idea. But, with that in mind, let's discuss the important part, the painting. So, challenge number one, painting. And as I've said, I had no clear goal in mind, so how do you even start a project with no clear goal in mind? So simple, start with something you do know. And for Yawa, I knew at least that would be the skin. I figured as I painted her, it would eventually all come together. So you can see here, I begin going through my usual way that I do skins. And you can find a link to the tutorial video in the description below. The difference this time was to really push the skin tones and try and get the smoothest of blends. There is approximately four hours worth of just pure glazing and thin layer stippling paint to get the finish I get on this skin. Now, with display painting, other than the silky smoothest of blends, anything like dirt and clumps of paint have to be removed. You cannot accept imperfections on your model. Now, this is not exclusive to just display and competition painting, but at every point, you should be looking for feedback on your model. This avoids you getting um, blinded by obvious mistakes that you can't see because as you paint, you get used to the model and you start forgetting these mistakes that you need to clean up. Shout out to my boy Zumikido and his Discord community for the invaluable feedback. So you can see here that for a good while on the back leg, there is just a spot open where I noticed a clump of paint and I had to take it off with just a knife. Now, normally, if there's a clump of paint, I kind of live with it. But because this is a display and competition piece, it is not acceptable. Mistakes like this will cost you, so they have to be cleaned up. Now, the other challenge for something complicated like this was deciding how I wanted to do my OSL effect. Originally, I was going to purely airbrush blue on the back of her over black to create the OSL effect. But after researching it and debating my options, I decided to fully paint her and then treat the OSL as a filter light source that would go over the back of the model. And to put it in perspective, 
at this point with the clothes and the skin and everything kind of done with the metallics, I was about 40 hours into the model. So she was pretty much set and the OSL was really just going to be a five minute airbrush job to seal the whole thing together. Next was to paint the bike. Now, while the bike was pretty much a homework copy of Carlos's one, I decided I just wanted to dirty mine up a little bit and weather it. And with that, the model is done. Now, the difficult part. I am by no means a traditional artist and in order to create an interesting diorama, I would need to draw a backdrop. Now, this is where I believe the piece is at its weakness because obviously I don't quite know how to draw good. So taking what I know how to paint models, I just painted a very generic kind of city scene and then airbrushed it to kind of hide the imperfections. And this is how she looked on the first final pass. As I've said already, at every point, I was constantly seeking feedback. This is truly important if you want to push your display pieces more. So constant and continuous assessment is important feedback to get a better looking piece. Now, as you've been seeing uh, the final reel of her, if I'm to critique what I'm seeing right now, the immediate thing that springs to mind is the OSL on the front of the bike is sloppy and inconsistent and the weathering on the bike for me is a little bit sloppy and inconsistent as well and can do with some refinement as well as this the white around the bike doesn't really read as anything at the minute does it want to be a glowing white light or is it supposed to be just clean white paint so that was the feedback given to me by both Travarian and Miniac in their discords. So the important thing to know is that even at a finished stage, you should always try to be seeking feedback on your pieces, especially if you're pushing for both competition and for a display piece. So after taking all their feedback and making the necessary adjustments, this is how she currently looks. I think based off what I just said and tidying up all those things, Hopefully she's competition ready and only time will tell on that front. I think it's a very accomplished piece. Putting the time in and getting all the feedback really helped push this to the next level. And if you're trying to push for display standard, feedback is very necessary at every point. Now, the other thing to note is this took me approximately three months to complete or about 60 hours of dedicated work. So display level painting is a huge time investment and does take mental fortitude if you want to try it. But for me personally, I'm happy with how this turned out and I learned a lot and about being more open to feedback. So you've reached the end of the video. That's Yawa. Hopefully when I enter her in competition later, she wins an award. If you've reached this far, Tell me what you think in the comments below. Like, share and subscribe. And as always, while we paint next.